Panasonic nutzt die NAB-Show 2016, um zwei neue 4 k camcorder vorzustellen, und zwar in einer Vorabversion. Das heißt, es ist noch nicht die finale Version, aber man kann hier zwei Prototypen schon einmal bewundern. Ähm, bei mir steht jetzt der ähm, Pressesprecher von Panasonic und ähm, ich werde ihn auf Englisch ein paar Fragen zu den neuen Produkten und zu der neuen Produktserie fragen. The new Panasonic UX series. What is the idea behind this new series? Well, basically, UX series is a new lineup in our professional range. So it will be basically products with do 4K, yes. basically. So this come on top of our usual range, which is called AVC Cam, yeah. which is doing HD. So this will be the range for 4K models, affordable handheld camcorders. And um, now you you are showing two samples of a camcorder. Where are the difference of those two models? What do they do? Well, basically, UX series will start from September, October onwards, and uh, these products basically will cover, uh, let's say, the sub 4K euros range for production market. And uh, the first two models here, the 90 and the 180, uh, will basically have one inch sensor, 4K. Of course, covering 4K and also Full HD because it's still big demand. And uh, the entry level one is a UX90 uh, equipped with a 15 times zoom, which is quite already impressive for 4K. And the premium model, the UX180, will of course have the same sensor, one inch MOS, 4K and Full HD, and 20 times zoom uh, uh, lens. So 24, uh, 20 times zoom lens for 4K, that means if you're working in HD, you might ha even have a bigger zoom uh, area? Mm, not really defined yet, all the specs are not finalized yet, uh, more to come at IBC, but uh, this is two new models that should be really great for this market and uh, it should uh, answer basically the, the question of should we use HD or 4K camera? This will do both, basically, at affordable pricing. So stay tuned for IBC. <laughs> okay. If you compare these models with the DVX200, mm -hmm. where, where's the big difference? They are a bit more, let's say, entry level. So the, the sensor is different, obviously. One most here. And uh, 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 for the DVX200, it's more like the GH4 style uh, uh, sensor, four third, so bigger sensor. And of course, uh, DVX100 is a bit more in price of course so it's a, it's a bit more premium product so these are more affordable basically and cover more range let's say on the market so could even do eng uh, uh, low-end production mid-end production dvx 200 is uh, more designed for the cinematographic look okay. let's say yeah. of the of the production side so a difference might be uh, that these cameras won't support vlog We don't know yet. Uh, as I said, the specs are quite limited at the moment. So what is more important about these models is the design, basically. We came up with a brand new, we called rugged design for heavy duty field usage, basically. So specs will come you know, a bit later on, but uh, design itself, you can basically appreciate on the booth here. Yeah. Okay, so we can see the form factor, how it's going to be, yeah. and uh, the technical details will be released at IBC when maybe these camcorders also will be available? Should be available, should be shipping, yes, before the end of the year, around October. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.